Today we're talking thousands of parts. The faster you can make them, the more efficient you can be. On today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you a clever trick to shave a few seconds off of your cycle time. I'm standing here with one of our Citizen Swift slaves. They're designed to make thousands of parts very quickly. Obviously, the faster you can make a part, the more you can make in a given amount of time. As long as you don't sacrifice quality, the idea is to get as many done as quickly as possible so you can move on to the next job. Typically, people think speeds and feeds when they're talking about shaving time off of a program. But something else you can do with the right part is you can actually eliminate any machine movement to save time. This particular part, we happen to have an order for like 100,000. And across 100,000 parts, every single movement matters. What we've done is we've actually eliminated some of the chucking process. So in a normal part, the material will start at the end. The machine will chuck back the amount of length of whatever the part's gonna be. The machine will come in and shape the part to make whatever it is you're making. At some point, it's gonna cut it off, at which point it's gonna look like this again, and then you restart the whole process over. You chuck back, you machine apart, you cut it off, and that's another one. Machine apart, cut it off, and that's another one. But every time you do this chucking motion, it's time spent. Now it's not a lot, but over 100,000 parts, it starts to add up. So what we've done is we've actually chucked back far enough to make several parts because this is also allowed to move forward and back. And so it moves just enough forward to make a single part. It gets cut off and then it moves forward, makes a single part, it gets cut off until we eventually get to another rechuck. What we've done is go from five rechucks to one. And although it only saves a few seconds, um, over the course of those five parts, over the course of 100,000, it adds up allows us to get done a little earlier and move on to the next project. If you're trying to reduce your cycle time and improve your efficiency, don't forget, every machine movement counts. For more quick tips, like and subscribe.